I'm going to talk to you today about one of the studies we conduct here at the Drug Safety Research Unit, which is called Specialist Cohort Event Monitoring, or SCEM for short. SCEM is a type of observational post-authorisation safety study, and it's been developed by the DSRU's expert research team. It's one of the very few resources in Europe which allow the study of drug safety in the hospital or specialist care setting. The SCEM methodology also permits the inclusion of a comparator cohort of patients. The approach has been developed in parallel with the requirement to undertake risk management planning as part of post-authorisation safety monitoring. We have several SCEM studies on a range of drugs including antipsychotics and anticoagulants and these are in various stages of completion. SCEM studies are non-interventional because they do not interfere with the prescribing decision process of the clinician. Criteria for the inclusion of patients are as wide as possible. Any patient who has been prescribed the drug by a specialist healthcare professional is eligible for inclusion. The DSRU study team established an active network of hospital prescribers of the drug. This is aided by existing relevant clinical research network. The patient's care team will be asked to complete a questionnaire about the patient at the time the medicine is started. Following a defined observation period, the patient's care team will also be asked to complete a further questionnaire this is specifically asking about the patient's experiences whilst on the medication. The study team will inform the patient's GP of their participation in the study and may ask the GP to complete a questionnaire from the patient's medical records. We may also ask for further information about selected events of interest and serious adverse events. The SCEM study I am currently involved in is the River Oxburn Observational Safety Evaluation or ROSE study. The study was designed to monitor the safety and drug utilisation of Rivoxban, which is one of the newer oral anticoagulants, and this is used in venous thromboembolic disease and the prevention of stroke in atrial fibrillation. The ROSE study also includes a comparator cohort of patients on warfarin. It began in 2013 and is currently ongoing, with the main focus of the study to examine bleeding rates in both Rivoxban and warfarin. So I hope I have shown how the SCEM model can be considered a valuable tool for the purposes of risk management.